Hello everybody, my name is Jan. Welcome to another MLB 9 Innings 20 video. Today we're going to go through a bunch of packs. Uh, I wanted to train my Legend and my New Prime. However, I forgot to buy the Great Increase ticket for this week. Because I want to blame Dan at savings time because uh, the clocks moved forward an hour, so I, I was all messed up. But you know, I was just being stupid, so I just forgot to buy it. So we're just gonna wait until like the next video to train them because yeah, basically it's just I don't have any reason to train them up right now, and uh, I gotta get to work in an hour, so I really don't have time to stitch this together. So unfortunately, we'll, we'll we'll buy the great increase ticket next week. Now speaking of great increase tickets, so. Um, I've got the privacy policy for the giveaway, so we're going to be doing that. I, I plan to put that video up about sometime next week, so we'll get that started. I think I'm going to have the the time window for you to submit a response with your information to be about a week. I think seven days is a good enough amount of time. So the way it'll work is, is there'll be like a link in a separate video that I'm going to do, and then I'm going to have you go to a Google Sheets where you can just give me your your YouTube name and your an email address where I can contact you at if you win. So uh, basically, it's not going to be any kind of like real life information. The one thing that I would say is that I the only thing is, is the winner needs to tell me like the country they live in because I, if I remember correctly, Google Play cards can only be and uh, maybe iTunes cards are the same way. I'm not sure, but I know for a fact that Google Play cards can only be redeemed in the U.S. So in the case that you don't live in the U.S. and you I may have to figure something else out for you guys, but uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, of course. So, uh, yeah, we're out here today. we got a, a whole bunch of these packs. I want to finish up Judge uh, and that sort of thing. I actually want to check Arcade Mode real quickly. I was I was holding on to uh, D D3 in Arcade Mode, so we're going to check it together. Oh, my God. Come on, man. How does this happen? Dude... I, I got to, like, level... I got to rank 47. I got to rank 47 on about Tuesday. It was like, maybe. I got 3.7 million points, you know? Maybe. Maybe. And then, as it turns out, the answer... No, of course not. I don't get to get... I got Diamond last week. Like, I'll probably use the screenshots as the thumbnail. I finished D3 in ranked, and I finished, like, D2 in, in arcade. So, that's the second time it happened. Like, the first week I made a video was actually the, the week that that happened the last time, but... Yeah, that just hasn't worked out for me this week, unfortunately. You know, you uh, you grind the whole week, and you just get lucky on one run, and then all of a sudden, it turns out that 95 other people got luckier than you did. So, nothing you can do about it. That The game mode's just way too luck-based, in my opinion. Like, th there's no... There's practically no difference between you getting lucky and getting rank 90 and getting lucky and getting rank 110. Like, there's no difference. And the rewards are trash, too. Like, the weekly rewards are garbage. It's like, oh, you got Diamond 3? Well, here's an ultimate pack for your time. Like, that's not that great of a reward, honestly. Like, that's pretty trash. I think the arcade rewards need to be fixed, like, really badly. They're so bad. The tiers are annoyingly small. Like, the window to try to get into Diamond is so tiny. And then once you actually get into Diamond, the rewards are not that great anyway. So, I'm usually happy with just Gold 1. It's kind of cool when you get diamond because you you feel like you've accomplished something. But man, those reward tiers need to be fixed so badly. They're terrible. I don't remember the exact rewards. It's like a couple extra stars and you get an ultimate pack. Wow. It's like I get up like ten of those a week anyway. It's just one more, right? Like, like the only thing that's really useful is if you actually manage to get like into legend. Then then it's cool because then you get team select stuff and you get like amp tickets. But other than that, it's really kind of a waste of time. Like, let me see the rewards real quick. Like, I think it's really, really trash. <laughs> yeah, you get an alt pack. All the way up to rank 4, you get an alt pack. And then only rank 3 gets a diamond pack and a skill change. Like, it's such a massive waste of everybody's time. Like, the rankings for the week just don't even matter to me, honestly. Like, it's just kind of one of those things that's like, yeah, that's pretty cool, but like... Other than that, like, oh, I get a I get a premium pack for being rank 101. Does that make any sense? No, that's really annoying. <laughs> you should be giving me something a little bit better than that. I don't even get stars. I get hit coins. I already have a million hit coins from doing clutch anyway. I can usually max out skill change tickets either way. Did my game just freeze? Hello. Anyway, it's been my opinion, and a lot of other opinions of other people that I've seen for a while have just agreed that. 
it needs to be fixed. Just it's so stupid. The rewards are just not useful. The only reward useful part of it is honestly getting the skill change ticket and getting the premium vintage and getting a diamond pack for free. Like it's the weekly rewards are just kinda trash. You know, it's like if I don't get gold one I feel like I've failed pretty much. It's just so easy to get gold one, but it's so tough to get diamond for no reason at all. Like make it top two fifty for diamond, that would be a lot better and it would probably screw a lot fewer people out of it. And make it so that the fact that if you get top 100, you get a diamond pack. And maybe a skill change ticket. Maybe. I don't know. Just do something. Make them better. Like, bump all the rewards down a tier. You know, so give 100 the ult packs. Uh, give 100 the diamond packs. Give legend, I don't know, maybe team select diamond. And then give, uh, like, the gold uh, like ult packs. That would probably be better and give people more incentive to actually play. Instead of getting to 100 like I do and then just stop playing for two weeks essentially it's basically what I do Let's see so essentially uh, now switching gears since I forgot about the grade increase I'm just gonna basically use the free one that I get from the off-season event when that finishes in about 17 days I believe I'm gonna use that one I'm probably going to grade increase uh, George Brett first because the Cano Prime. As much as I want Cano Prime to be in my lineup, my current Cano actually does pretty well. So I might actually just keep him in there for the moment and then use an actual grade increase on him when that comes around or when the new like the way I have it planned out is it's gonna be the free GI for the George Brett and then when Team Select things come out, maybe if I get a good, I'm pretty sure I cannot get a dupe hitter, so I'm pretty sure I'm getting a new Sig batter either way. So I'm going to use my grade increase from that on him, and then I'm going to use uh, the next grade increase at the beginning of April, and then use that on Kano. That would probably be the better way to do it. That would probably be the ideal method. Did I ever use my golds? How did I do that? I guess I used them when I wasn't paying attention. Oh well. I also bought the, the special training XP, that too. So, man, my game is going really slow right now. I bought the special training XP that comes up every once in a while, so we've got some extra diamond packs to deal with and play with today. So we've got to hopefully get hopefully get Judge done, and then we'll get started on uh, Giancarlo, getting him all the way up to level eight. Something that I have been avoiding is the fact that now I have been training up my long relievers, so we will have to spec train them eventually because they're actually pretty solid pitchers. It's just that. Uh, it's been very difficult to train them. I've been spending a lot of my club points on skill upgrade tickets. So now we are going to hopefully finish them up pretty soon. And then we will actually have ourselves some, some long relievers with diamond skills in our lineup. And hopefully we will stop losing so many games with long relievers. That's, that's basically the way I lose all of my games, essentially, is my pitcher will give up one run. The long relievers will come in, and then they'll just blow the game open because they can't pitch because they have no diamond skills or they're... Like, you know, terrible spec trainings or stuff like that. Like, Chad Green's not a bad pitcher, nor is Rudy May, but the fact that they have no trained skills makes them just very vulnerable. Are you serious? Alright, that's another couple. That's 119 contact and 148 power for Judge. Amazing. Insanity. That's so crazy to me. That's like, this is, I cannot believe that a normal card can get this much power. That just blows my mind. Alright, so let us finish up with these intermediate packs. Come on, hurry up. If that animation didn't play, this would go so much faster, but uh, we don't have a choice. We have to sit through it no matter what. I don't know if I have enough space in my roster. What is it, 27? No, I do not have enough space in my roster for all these intermediate packs. That sucks. Alright, we'll just finish this up real quick. Nope, not Curse Cranston, he's already done. So, I don't know when I'm going to actually go train up these long relievers with spec trains, because right now I'm kind of in like a groove where I want to get my offense like as high as I possibly can get them. Because I just, I just like having my... My offense is the weak part. My pitching is my strength. So, I need to get my offense a lot more spec trains because they are the problem in my lineup. My pitching is almost 114 overall. But my offense is like 109, so that's that's the problem we have. 
So we need to make our offense a little bit more potent if we want to compete. Because right now, giving like keeping the opponents for one or two runs, as long as my long levers don't come in, is not a problem. But the problem if I lose is the fact that I will get like eight hits and no runs. So you know, I need my offense to be just a little bit better. I needed to just get that little extra push to get him over the top, and then we'll be all set. <laughs> so I don't have to do this later. Let me just use this, and let me see what I get. Okay, a bronze. Sorry, so we're just going to get rid of him immediately then. Just wanted to get these all out of the way as fast as I possibly could. Alright, so let's go do our team selects now, as we always like to do. Do team selects first, just in case it gives me a prime. You never know when you're going to get something interesting out of these team selects. Although, after last week, I'm pretty sure that I'm probably not going to get another prime out of a team select back. Because, well, that was the first one, and honestly, probably the last one. But I can always hold hope. So, let us see. I'm always going to open these ones first, like I said, because I feel like... You know, prime cards are limited. Like, you can only get a couple. Like, like the game needs to go through a certain period of you opening packs before it gives you a new one. Like, I feel like it's kind of like the the, uh, the diamonds out of premium packs, where you start out with, like, a 1% chance to pull a diamond out of premium, but it goes up gradually as you don't get one, up to 3%. So I feel like maybe they give you a slightly better percent as you go along. I don't know. I'm just theorizing at this point. I can't prove it. I can't tell you this for a fact. But all I know is, is that if I open a lot of packs, I seem to pull one after I pull, open a lot of packs. So it seems to be that way. About a thousand packs, I generally get another one. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just the way that, like, that's the percentage wise. Like, because it's like a half percent, maybe that's the way it works. Don't know. Nice potances this today. I'll say that. All right, let's do our premiums. What are we going to get? Oh, RAF to a start with a gold. That's a nice, uh... Kemp or, uh, Bellinger, maybe? Oh, Machado, of course. How could we forget? So glad he's not in our division anymore. I don't have to... Is that the same card? No, it's not. It's like... I always find it funny when he gives me the same card back-to-back, -back because it's just so weird that way. I'm pretty sure we have enough material to get Judge finished. I'm pretty sure. Uh, actually, that, now that I look at these vintage cards, I think there was a check-in event last night that actually gave us a vintage card pack, like a basic vintage pack. I think it was. I could be wrong, but that was one of the most random things I've seen in a while. Like, who wants a basic vintage pack? They're honestly kind of garbage because they have a 1% chance to give you something useful. Like, what are you going to get? Maybe, like... Almost everything is just going to be upgrade material, and I have nothing to upgrade right now, so essentially it's kind of useless to me, but maybe to somebody else would be useful. Not sure. Definitely not for our purposes here. Alright, let's see. Let's get our last two here. So that's 25%, so hopefully by the time I finish premiums and silvers, he'll be done. And then I'll go into alts and... Uh, gold packs for, I guess yeah, John Carlos next, so we'll do him next. No, looking for them diamonds. Not really any useful diamonds. Not any diamonds to find anywhere. Yep, 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 yep. There's a gold, another gold. Nice. A lot of Yankee cards, nothing really useful. Britain 19, David Robinson 14. That's always a weird card. It's pretty good, 68 overall. <laughs> Is that Nova or Pineda? Oh, Sabathia, right. I forget he's still in the game. Just because he's retired now. Like, I'm not sure why they're going to take him out. Oh, that's Prime. Uh, who is that? Oh, it's Brett Boone, isn't it? Yeah, I think it was Brett Boone. <laughs> nice, Brett Boone. That's pretty good. That's a really good, that's a good prime. I got the brother of uh, our current coach, Aaron Boone. Fantastic. That's always cool. Interesting, interesting. 
because I was like, I pulled it out, and I'm like, who is a Seattle Prime right now, other than like Putz? That's a batter. Like I couldn't figure that out, and I'm like, oh, of course it's it's Aaron Boone's little brother, or Aaron Boone's big brother. I'm sorry. I put that in the list of cards I'll never use, and then we'll continue on this wild ride. It's at the point now where I'm amazed that I don't get more dupes. Like, I've pulled so many different primes, but I have no, like, not really many dupes. I've got, like, a, a Kinsler dupe. I've got a, a Verlander dupe, and I've got a... Who's the other one? I've got a Matt Kemp dupe as well, but that's really it. I mean, if you consider the fact that also I have both Pujols, maybe that's a dupe, but, like, not really. I'm actually amazed that I haven't pulled a dupe yet, really, for, like, a Yankee card. Of course, as I say that, now Karma is just going to be like, uh, yeah, here's a nice another, here, take this second Cano. Learn to just be happy and shut up. Um, you know, it's probably going to do that. Classic. Let's see. Uh, nope. It, it looks like I may have to dip into the gold packs and ults for a judge, but that's not a big deal. I haven't not seen a vintage yet. We need one vintage to get a vintage combo, but I have not seen one in a a while already. So uh, I'm hoping we find at least one in here. That would be a good start. And all the silver packs. Silver packs are usually the ones that give me the primes, but uh, not today. They're not going to give me anything at all. No vintage is nothing, man. Wow. Tragic. All right, gold packs. Maybe, maybe we'll pull a gold vintage out of that. I don't know. And not one was seen that day. Nope. Okay. I don't even care where they are, really. I just want to move it along. It's like, uh, they're not really cards that are useful for me, so. They're going right in the mulch pile, so, yep. Don't need them. 59. 63%. Yeah, it's looking more and more like we're basically going to need to use the uh, the remainder of our packs to get Judge up, which is a shame, but that's okay because we've got like a thousand basics to go spend on Giancarlo when I'm done. Almost done. And then Judge will have an absolutely insane 150 power, which is unbelievable. He is one of my better home run hitters every week. Like, he is... Right now, at one point, he was top 50 in the world and ranked for home runs, which is stupid to me. Wow, not one diamond. Out of, out of all these alts, not one diamond... It's been just an awful week for pulling, pulling diamonds. I didn't get a single diamond from premiums. I didn't get a single diamond from alts. Not even a diamond prime. Tragic. A diamond Yankee. Is that Eddie? Is that Eddie 19 diamond? I may have to save him. Oh, Void 19 diamond? I may have to save him for uh, a bench player, honestly. Uh, that's actually not a bad card. 66 overall. Like, he would actually probably replace... Like, he can definitely replace... Who is on my bench right now? So if I'm going to put uh, Cano on my bench, like if I'm going to put Cano, oh no, Cano's like on my, DJ's on my bench, he's going to replace Nunez, so Voight could probably replace Headley, because he's a 63, that'd probably be, probably be better for him, yeah definitely, that's awesome. that's a good trade off, so only one diamond we get to trade in for spec trains today. Do I get any period packs from this today? No? No. These are all done already. I've already finished these collections up. Anything else in my inventory? No, that's basically it. Oh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do this great increase reset ticket on... Uh, who is it? I think we're going to do it on some pitcher of mine. I think it's Rudy May. I think he's a 65. He's a 65. Who else on my team needs a reset ticket? There was somebody else that was like really like egregious. I have to pull up like my spreadsheet, maybe. Let's see. Uh, do I use it on Sunny Gray? I don't know if I want to risk it on Sunny Gray. He's a 67. Yeah, somebody on my team had a really poor GI. We'll do it on Rudy Bay, and we'll see where it goes from there. Was it D-Rob, 70? Patanzas, 70? Yeah, I already fixed Patanzas. He's already he's done already. Um, 
All right, let's just use it on Rudy May. Let's see what kind of grade increase we get from him. He is a long reliever, so at the end of the day, I don't really care if it goes down. We'll just get another one. I meant to use this last week, and I just forgot. Well, he went up. Wow, he definitely went up. Definitely went up. GG, boys. We call that a success. Alright, so we will uh, finish up Judge now. I'm trying to think of what I'm supposed to be doing here. I'm kind of like, my mind is broken just due to the fact that... We'll, we'll open some basic packs and we'll get them up. My mind is broken for the fact that we didn't get a single advantage card from all those packs. Like, my mind is just warped now. We'll just open these basics real quick, and we'll just use them to level Judge up, and then we will go on our merry way. I wish it would pull. I wish it would open nine up instead of ten. If like your player reserve is full, like that would be cool. You know, just be like, okay, oh, you only have nine player slots available. Okay, well, I'll only open nine for you. No, it have to be ten slots open. So silly to me. All right, and he's done. That's it. He's now what one twelve or one thirteen? I'm not sure where he ends up. Or one twelve, one fifty power, dude. That is, that is, that is nuts. That is, that is way more power than anybody ever needs. So let's go with John Carlo. Get him all the way up to 73. We can already get him almost up to the point where he is... I'm pretty sure I can probably finish up 7 with normals when I'm done later on when I'm at work. I could probably do that. That's going to be it for me for today. So I hope you guys have a good one. Thanks for hanging out. I'm glad we got a new Prime today. Uh, remember to stay tuned for the giveaway that we'll be doing. I will post that video in a couple days. And then we will be onwards and upwards with our new bench player. Our new legend that we're going to train in the next video and we're hopefully going to grade increase him sooner rather than later so i'll see you guys in the next video thank you guys for watching thank you guys for all the lovely comments and i'll see you guys in the next video remember to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more i'll see you guys next week thank you